hello guys welcome back to packet drift in this video we will quickly discuss about the data formatting this is very much needed topic while moving towards the network automation so let's get started here there are two routers Cisco and Juniper connected back to back let's say engineer working in shift wants to check the interface configuration on both the router so he will execute the Cisco router command and he will get this output from the Cisco router CLI. Similarly, he will execute the Juniper command and he will get the output from the Juniper router. Engineer can easily interpret both these routers output as the output format is designed for human reading and understanding. Now let's assume there is automation tool who is also checking the interface configuration from both this router so he will log into Cisco router and he'll get the same Cisco CLI output similarly while logging to Juniper he'll get the same Juniper CLI output this collected data is later sent to internal application who supposed to analyze and work on it but here the application or script will reject this data as this is not the data format which is understood by script or the application who will work on it here as we see both vendors have their own way of data structuring and representation which is not standard and it needs to be converted in a format which is understood by script or a software applications here software application does several tasks on data provided to it and make the decision like configuration changes or it store the state of the network for all these tasks to perform, application or script need to have a well-defined data format to allow easy communication between application component. This is one of the example of data format which is used by script as an input and action is performed on it. Data is formatted with the proper syntax and structure. Data is converted in an object format which is then defined by key value pair notation key and value is separated with the colon in between key here represent the name or label of the data whereas value represent the actual data to be processed or analyzed by script or application value here could be multiple values it could be string value it could be numeric value it could be list or array or next it could be another key value pair in a nested fashion one more simple example here is object of interface where it has given the information about the interface configuration the standard format of data formatting is very useful the standard formatting of data will ensure to have common way to define data from all the network devices irrespective of vendors now depending on how this key value pair is getting structured with different syntaxes there are three types of data formatting normally used while working with network automation tool and scripts one is json second is xml and third is yaml all three have different format of representing the data with key value pair notation here in example same configuration of the interface is represented by three different data formatting technique now which one to use in your script as a input data is purely depend on the application you are working with and personal preferences we'll explore more about all three data format in coming video thanks for watching and keep learning